Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I am going to be unboxing and showing some of the miniatures, uh, resin miniatures, not the final production copies, of the Kickstarter for, well, a whole miniatures line being run by Jigurama, who is going to be, I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, I apologize. But they previously did a few, they've had a few campaigns under their belt for miniatures, for board games. They have this game, The Path of Adventurers, which comes with standees, but I assume you can proxy in vari ver various miniatures into your game. But either way, we're going to put that to the side because this is not the focus of this video. Instead, we're going to be showing, and actually, let's go ahead and show this first, because I believe this one I have opened. We'll open the rest after, but this one I have opened. This is going to be the early bird. So, for context here, we have a line of miniatures. It's going to be 108 miniatures for, I believe, let me just check my phone. I took notes. Uh, 108 miniatures for, I believe, $70, €59, Euro, and that's going to be a 50% discount from MSRP, all that, guaranteed this, that, the other. They're going to have an early bird, which we'll talk about shortly. This is going to be the early bird, ignore the packaging. This is a prototype and everything. But the early bird is going to be available for the first 72 hours, which is the way I like it, by the way. Uh, I hate, not hate, hate's a strong word. I generally am not a huge fan of 24-hour early birds. I think 48 hours should be the minimum, and 72 is awesome. Give people the time to really jump in. I, there are going to be, uh, let's see, they're going to be... Um, washes options, uh, not sun drop, because sun drop is official make awaken realms term. But there are going to be options for getting washes or whatnot. And this is not, this is not the uh, the miniature I thought it was. Never mind. We'll we'll go through that. This is going to be one of a variety of miniatures in its own little box. I, I'll show you the bunny rabbit soon. There's going to be a specific uh, early bird miniature that we'll get to shortly that I will show you, and I'll show you all the miniatures. We'll go through all of them. Everything you see here is prototype, which means it's going to be resin, I believe, and this is not what you're actually getting. What you will actually be getting is you will be getting pre-assembled miniatures, so that part's true. Let's go ahead and show you this guy up here. But yeah, you will be getting pre-assembled miniatures with a wash option to really bring out the colors and whatnot, especially with like lighter colors where you can't really see as much detail unless you put a little nice wash in it. And like I said already, this is going to be 108 miniatures, and I'm not certain, this part I'm not certain about, I'm not certain whether that is including or not including stretch goals. So, this is taped. This is still taped. But yeah, we have a variety. Ooh, what's in the back of the boxes? Oh, this one has a back. This one does not have a back, so this has a back over there. But yeah, there's going to be 108 minimum, let's say. I believe stretch goals are going to add to that number, so as the campaign does well or better, you know, you'll know, you see more miniatures being added to your pledge. But at $70 for 108 miniatures, you're looking at less than, just math, you're looking at less than, ooh, <clears throat> this looks like bigger stuff. Let's, let's do the bigger stuff after. I'm not sure what's in these boxes. I want to... If this is bigger, let's show it to you after. So we'll go through this one shortly. But either way, uh, going back to that, so that's going to be less than a dollar per miniature. And that's going to be, let's go ahead and just open this tape here. Um, and that's going to be a whole bunch of miniatures for whatever game system you want. Now, like the blacklist line of miniatures before it, the question is always going to be, what are you using them for? Are you a painter? Are you someone who's painting miniatures and you just want more miniatures to paint? Ooh, this looks like it's a bunch of smaller. There we go. Here we go. Here's some of the miniatures I want. So, are you going to be painting them? Are you going to be utilizing them in some other game system? Are you an RPG player? Are you uh, replacing them in the Path of Adventures over here? There's going to be a line of scenery. So, what I'm showing you over here, there's going to be miniatures here we'll get to shortly. But some of the things you can buy is going to be a line of scenery of different doors. Let's go ahead and show you those up top. These are going to be different doors you can buy as well. Now, these, I assume this is resin as well. It's always hard to tell because you can't tell as much with resin when it comes to solid chunks, at least if you're not an expert like I am not an expert. But when it comes to the miniatures with the fine little lines of axes, that's where the production quality can usually... Is this... Hey, look at that. This looks like he's uh, this guy over here. So I'm guessing you definitely can replace or proxy those out. Let's go ahead and show you that up top. That's going to be one of these miniatures over here. So the detail is pretty fine. The detail is pretty solid. Let me take a look, closer look over here. Yeah, again, this is resin, so you can't read exactly into the detail in terms of how good it's going to be or not good it's going to be. But it does seem to be pretty good. This is not someone now. Now all I'm going to be doing is comparing this to the, the box to see which miniatures are going to be from the box, which ones are not. And this is a whiter color, so it's a little hard to see the detail, meaning if you get a wash, if you get a sun drop, a shading, not actually sun drop, if you get a shading, then it will, this is not one of the P 
people. I believe, let me just turn this towards me. This is not one. But yeah, if you get a sun drop, a shading or whatever, then it will bring out the detail no matter what. But you want to compare it more to the gray than the white. I'll show you two side by side how the detail on white miniatures, on white resin or whatever it is, tends to be washed out even further. If you like really look, look at how this, the shadows cast. Like that white one right next to the gray one. The gray one has more detail on it just by virtue of it being gray and not white. Now, if you paint that, not an issue. If you get sun drop, not an issue. If you just don't get white miniatures, well, not an issue. Let's go ahead and swap those spots. That feels more like it fits better there. Here we got some more. We got some more over here. This is going to be another. I want I want more from the box. We only have one from the box. I'm just, I'm just going to keep looking. Now, I don't know if I'm going to pick up and show every single miniature. I have three boxes here. I don't know what's in each one or how much stuff we can go through. I'll show a bunch, and then if it gets to be too much, we'll, we'll stop. The point here, this is not from the box. Again, although this is a little archer. I like this one. Ooh, this is nice. <clears throat> Got a little, like, fire arrow situation going on here. So, yeah, this is going to be the, like I said, from, from Jugurama, who I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I'm totally not certain about that. They're going to be launching, I forgot to tell you this, they're going to be launching on October 28th, which I'm pretty sure is the day this video goes up. I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure that's the day this video goes up. This is going to be someone carrying a sword, very intimidatingly. There we go over here, got a little camera focus. But yeah, so it should be launching today. Uh, it will be launching on Kickstarter, not GameFound. More and more, we actually have to say where things are launching instead of just assuming because of the nature of, well, how things evolve, how things change. GameFound's getting more and more things. Uh, they have legendary dice bags, which I just covered on Saturday. Ooh, this is intimidating. I like this guy. But they have legendary dice bags. They have a whole bunch of upcoming campaigns. It's still, the majority of campaigns are still on Kickstarter, at least for right now. But it seems to be closing in on the maybe 20%, maybe 25% ratio in terms of just having a decent amount. I hope we don't break these. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else we have here. Is this one shaded? Ooh, ooh, we got a shaded one. This is helpful. Okay, great. So we have a shaded miniature. I'll make sure to timestamp these. That will give you a good idea of what the shading will look like in terms of bringing out the detail. So you can see over here, let's get some focus. Ah, focus, come on. There we go. I think that's focused. There we go. But yeah, you can see over here, that's going to be a little more shaded. Now, again, this is not factory shading, so it's a little bit more spotty in terms of its application. But you can see how you get a little bit more texture, highlighting, or colors basically going on on there. Let's see what else we got here that's cool. Oh, okay, cool. We got some, we got some cool things, so we're going to show you them because they're cool. We have a little sandworm. Uh, I don't know if it's a sandworm. It's probably not a sandworm. It's some sort of worm. That's the important part. It is a worm-esque creature. Use it as your first player marker in Dune Imperium if you have that. So this is how you know I'm more of a board gamer than a uh, miniature RPG player or something like that because I see something extra. And I'm, not, I'm not like, let's paint it, let's use it in my RPG game. I'm like, how can we proxy it in to replace a board game component? But we have a weapons rack. Now this looks like, again, this is a prototype. All these things are prototypes, so factor that in as you look at these. But this is a weapons rack. The detail, very fine. It looks like it was like cut out in terms of some sprues, although I am not... Yeah, you can see little cross sprues from the 3D printing on this. This looks like it was 3D printed. Some of these are going to be resin. Some might be resin 3D printed. It's a whole lot of stuff. A little goblin archer. I'll show you that guy. It's a whole lot of stuff in terms of printing or miniatures or various materials you use. The way you can do things in 3D printing, the mass production. There's a lot to learn about miniatures. A lot that I don't know. A lot that I should know. Some stuff that I know. Here we go. I like this one over here. It's a little uh, Druid. Probably very Druid-esque. Druid-esque in terms of its appearance, in terms of its staff, and its Elkin horns. Are they called Elkin horns? Fun fact, did you know that a bunch, a group of moose is called a stencil of moose? It's not called a stencil of moose. It's not. But if you understand why I'm saying that, then you know why I'm saying that. All right, let's go ahead and put this back. And let's open box number two, keeping in mind we still have another box to go. I could have sworn, do we do we have a, do we not have the the 72 hour early bird? I don't, I thought I saw it, but maybe I just saw it in the email and I'm extrapolating that to, to this. So we got another, ooh, this one's got more art on the back. Not that it's necessarily related. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at what's on the back over here. So this particular set, and this might be from a prior set, although actually, you can see over here, you can see that's the one we just looked at. So we can see some of these over here. We got dice, we got bases, we got uh, the various, oh, bases. Are those extra bases you put on for molded bases? We already looked at the Wraith. We looked at the Barbarian. We looked at uh, we looked at this uh, Catwoman, I believe. I'm not sure who we looked at at this point. We looked at some of these, but either way, let's go ahead and open this one up and take a look at what's inside. So, and we still have another box after this with the 
maybe the big stuff. Oh, okay, now we got some shading. Okay, great. So here's some more shading situation. Again, prototype shading, not necessarily factory shading. But you can see over here, we got the shading going on in terms of just giving it that little molded, contoured look. This is an effect you can definitely achieve yourself if you get a wash. Uh, do some basic research on some videos on how to wash miniatures. It will take time and money. Not a lot of money. Money, the wash, a decent wash can, you can probably get the materials you need for like under $25, $30 to get set up for multiple washes across multiple wash stations. But it will take you time, especially if you're not like a professional at painting. The more, the more, the better you get at painting, the faster you'll go. Then again, the better you get at painting, the less likely it is you're looking at washes as an option to begin with. I happen to be, I'm someone who does paint. So I do, like, I, I know how to paint. I have a variety of paint sets. I've painted some of my games. Very few, though, because I don't have time. And because of that time factor, I usually end up getting washes on any any campaigns that have a wash option for miniatures. I usually end up getting them because it's more consistent and quicker than whatever I would be able to achieve myself by, well, a lot more work and effort. Now, I'm not going through all of these because... To be frank, it's a lot of miniatures. I don't want to go through every single one. But I am showing you some, especially the washed ones, because the washed ones are going to be close to what you're going to see if you get that wash option. But I'm still trying to find that 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 bunny character. But either way, if I don't have the bunny character, then it's I mean, it definitely exists. The question is where it exists. I like these characters. These are little... I'm going to show you these ones because they're cool. We got a little angel character. A little... You got to let the camera adjust to the whiteness over there so you can capture as much highlight and detail as possible. And then we have this like demon spawn dog, which is very cool. Let's get this down here without breaking it. We got this demon spawn dog, which got the little tentacles just coming from it. Let's see if we can let the camera focus. There we go. You see how that got the little like tentacles just flying out from the side over there? That's, that's what I'm talking about. Cool. That's going to be that over there. Let's go ahead and put this down. Okay. That is going, oh wait, no, there's an under here. What am I doing? There's an under compartment here. I completely forgot about it. Let's look at the under compartment. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got a beetle person, beetle tusk person isk thingy. See, this is a problem with not knowing the names for any of these things. Uh, maybe they have D and D counterparts you can utilize it for. I have no idea. Like I said already, I'm not a D and D person. Let's see what we got. Do we have? Nope, not that. Not that. This one I like. Here we go. This is I like this one. This is a little centaur person. That's his name, centaur person. But it's got a nice wash on it. It's got solid sculpting, solid detail. Let's go ahead and show you that front over there. A little slow turn. I tend to go a little fast in my turns here because I'm like trying to like move on to the next miniature. But sometimes that level of detail is cool. So let's go ahead and put that one back. Hopefully not breaking it. Oh, that has me so nervous. Oh, these these compartments are not made to fit these miniatures, which has me very nervous. I'm not seeing the early bird option, which means it doesn't mean anything. It just means that there's no early bird option in here. Let's go ahead and go through the other box of stuff, which had something in it. Either something big or not something big. This is the fun part of doing these together with you, of learning along with you, which means I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that when I opened this box, I saw a bunch of bubble wrap, which just means I probably should have prepped for this in terms of taking it out. Like I remember when I did an unboxing for Wild Ascent, there's nothing in here. When I did an unboxing for Wild Ascent, I got a very cool dragon. Also, that dragon arrived broken. So I, that one is actually one that's happy to basically unbox after. And that's, that's a, a, again, practical reality of dealing with prototype components, where very often you're dealing with resin that is not the same level of security and safety as you would ideally like, which means this thingy, whatever size it is, hopefully arrived in one piece, and it looks like it did. So this... This is going to be, I guess, their cornerstone of the, the campaign. Let's show you that in a front shot. How bad would that be if I dropped it on the floor right now? Which I could do because I'm holding this over the floor, not over the table. To get this close to the camera, it has to be over the floor. And let's show you in a top shot as well. So you can see over here, that would be pretty bad. Pity this one didn't come shaded. That would be very cool. This is a solid piece. Did not arrive broken, which is very nice. But that is... That goes on the shelf behind me up over there, at least unless and until they ask for it back. And that's going to be that. That's going to be that. Let's again, quick highlight over, overview is we have a Kickstarter 
for a bunch of miniatures, a miniature line of what, whatever. 108 miniatures. Let me just put this down on the floor here. 108 miniatures. We're going to be uh, $70 plus shipping, I assume. With stretch goals, I believe, are extra and will add to that. So it's going to be 108 plus miniatures. Shading will be available as an option. There may or may not be other optional buys. I have no idea. And that's all going to be on Kickstarter on October 28th. And because I have this here, I'm just going to spend the time to unbox this game now, which is a game that's going to be the Path of Adventures, decently rated on Board Game Geek. You can check it out. I have not dive in, dived into it myself yet, as evidenced by the shrink. Although, I guess sometimes I do have games in my collection that are in shrink that I have played because I played someone else's copy. Not hap it doesn't happen frequently, but it does happen. But a little bonus unboxing at the end of this video, because why not? So, Path of Adventures, and we have, I assume we have, again, I know we saw this one. I didn't pay enough attention to see if we have the rest of these, but we definitely had at least one of these had a corresponding miniature in the set. So if you're someone who got this game and you want uh, miniatures to replace them, well, that will be an option for you. The rules on this don't look overly long. We're looking at 20 pages, 22 pages, and that's with, like, everything. This is very short. looks like it's a decently decent amount of, of, of pictures and things that lower the length, and plus the actual sizing is fairly small. We have three token sheets. You know, here are our standees. So that's going to be, you know, the person that we replaced with a actual miniature in terms of if you, well, get the miniatures line. Although, like I said already, I'm sure different ones of these comes with the miniatures. Let's take a look. Oh, you see, there we go. There we have the, the, the druid person. You see? They definitely have stuff going on here. They definitely have some overlap in terms of what you can see. That's going to be the druid person with the, the thing. So they definitely are lining these up to be some sort of augment the board game. So unlike uh, Blacklist miniatures, which basically had a miniatures line, and then they're kind of added a, a lasting tales as a board game after. It looks like we did the reverse here. We did a board game followed by a miniatures line. And these are going to be the cards. Let's go ahead and grab some of these cards over here. I'm not going to go through everything. I just figured while I have it next to me, why not open it anyway? Because we have all these cards for the, the Knoll. And we have the Goblin. You see the Goblin Archer. We have that. We have that Goblin Archer in one of the miniatures. We have the, the Kentari, not a centaur apparently, but a Kentari. We have some, what else we have? We have the troll, the troll was in there. At this point, I think everything was in there, just from a stance of looking at what we did and didn't have. There's a decent amount. I don't know what there will be. And again, 108 miniatures gives you a lot of room. And at this point, we move on from miniature cards to other cards that are relevant for other things. I don't know how to play this game at all, so I can't comment on any of that. And that's going to be our little unboxing. We have a, I'm not going to go through everything here because this wasn't really the point, but we opened some stuff. We'll put those stuff back and now go back to uh, our regular, regularly scheduled programming. So that is it, basically. A miniatures line on Kickstarter. I'll have a link to that down below. You can check that out if you are a miniatures person. The quality on everything I'm seeing here looks pretty decent, but again, resin as opposed to final. So everything you're seeing, I'm showing you what I'm showing you, but factor in that in some ways what you get in the, as a final copy will be better, and in some, way, some ways it has the potential to be worse. It's a question of the lack of detail versus the quality of control, the consistent shading. So it's, you know, this is an, a general approximation of what you're looking to get, but not necessarily an exact match. In any case, until next time. Oh, look at this. This guy little, like, matches the Cthulhu-esque thing. Yeah, my shirt, sort of. Anyways, until next time, I am Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co., and as always, I hope you have a good one.